Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna answer three questions I've got from people on Instagram. The first question is controlling a fan core unit using Loxon. The second question is how do I go about planning control panels? And then the third question is following on from a previous question asking about Loxon and Control 4 integration. So I've just had an audio note message from um, a chap who I speak to quite a bit on Instagram. He's, uh, yeah, just DM me a audio note uh, and he's, got a locks on project where he's use um they, they're trying to run a fan core unit sort of in reverse so rather than heating the air it's, it's going to be cooling the air um and it's he's asking me uh, my recommendation and he's basically looking for a 0 to 10 volt control module to to be able to, to control it so i think he said like um the or to control the fan at least i think he said like three volts is low six volts is medium and then 10 volts is like high um so i'm just about to respond now how's it going mate hope you're good yeah so this one's a nice easy one for you so locks on if you go on their website and just type in ao extension which is analog output extension they provide exactly what you're looking for. So they've got this module that provides four analog outputs, naught to 10 volts. Um, yeah, and that'll, that'll do exactly what you need it to do. Um, hi Chris, I've been following you for a while now and I work as an electrical engineer, but more in breakdowns and repairs rather than design. I'm starting to go into building my own panels too. How do you normally go about planning out the physical size of the panel depending on components required? Is there a software or something or something that you use for this? How's it going, Jed? Yeah, so this is where CAD really um, comes into its own. Um, so all, all the panels that I'm designing, they start off in CAD first, so I get I work out all the components that are needed, um, and then I sort of roughly space them out in CAD, and they're all they're all designed to scale. And yeah, and just sort of like jiggle them about a bit. Obviously, bearing in mind there's trunking as well. That's that's an easy one to forget when you're first starting out. So yeah, sort of jiggle them all about with the trunking layout. And, and obviously the spacing between the components and the trunking as well. And then yeah, just get, a, get an idea of you know how that looks. And when you're happy, you can then work out, you can, do, you can draw on CAD, start a new message and hang on. You can then draw like a, a rectangle or a square on CAD around that. And that will tell you, you know, approximately what sort of panel size you need. Uh, and I'd always recommend just um, sizing a panel larger than what you actually need. It's nice to just have some wiggle room um, and some extra din rail space uh, if you need it. And if things, if the system gets added to in the future. So that's something else to bear in mind. So this is actually follow on from a previous uh, DM and it's just following on from the chap that was asking um, how do you how do I rate locks on compared to control four? Um, this guy's a C4 dealer, but considering going on the locks on training. So he said <clears throat> he said, Thanks for the information, mate. Appreciate that. We are booked on to locks on training early March. It seems like a system that would fill the gap we currently have with C4 sometimes being too complex or expensive for the client. I don't know about complex, it's, it's quite a nice simple interface, but certainly certainly Loxon is a more affordable system generally than Control 4. Um, and he asks, will Loxon work with C4? How's it going, mate? Um, so <laughs> this is, this, this would, yeah, if Loxon actually listened or if someone in the marketplace realize that there's a demand for having good integration between Loxon and C4. I mean, L Loxon did create a driver at one point in the past, making integration for heating and lighting to control four possible, but I don't think it was written, the, the, the software that did it and the, the program that sort of did the integration didn't work very well and then i think the guy that was the guy that built this in Loxon then left so it's not supported anymore which is very annoying um i know i know a couple of guys that got this working 
and another I don't know if it's still working I know another guy who has it working but has got like a a very long winded workaround and it's probably not something I'd recommend having at clients properties you know things could potentially go wrong it's not stable you don't want all those call outs for something that's not or potential call outs for something that's not stable so um, I've also tried it and I didn't get very far of it, far with it. Um, I wasn't willing to invest the amount of time to try and work this work around out and do it. So, so no, there, there isn't really, uh, you can get, you can do basic sort of, um, IP integration, IP commands, but it's, it's long winded and, um, yeah, it's not a supported thing, but this is where KNX and C4 work really well. Um, and that's what we do. Uh, and the, the guys that I do a lot of contracting work for, they use KNX on the back end for all the HVAC and controls and building management stuff. And then they have control four on the front end for the, the user interface like touch screens, TVs, phone apps, etc. And also use Control 4 for all the AV and, and security stuff. So yeah, it's really annoying. If only Loxon did work like KNX on the back end with C4 on the front end, end that would be amazing. But yeah, it, it's not something that's um, a feasible solution at the moment. Someone really needs to, to sort that out. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, there's another one right here.